The Recovery Based Engagement Support Team Project, or RBEST, is an innovations funded project designed to help individuals living in the community with untreated mental illness. The teams are multidisciplinary in nature and they are made up of drug and alcohol counselors, nurses, peer and family advocates, as well as mental health specialists. We also have clinical therapists assigned to the team, and they specifically work with the families of these mentally ill individuals to help them um, understand the nature of mental illness, to educate them about resources, to help uh, them cope with other mentally ill loved ones, as well as to provide therapy in their homes or in an environment that's comfortable for them. My brother, he is um, diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. My experiences were um, very hard to deal with on my own. Jacob has a long history of mental health illness, started when he was quite young. When he became an adult, um, we were kind of at a loss. We didn't know where to go. Not knowing if he was suffering from mental illness or even like a drug addiction was the initial problem. It was very stressful and it's been, it's impacted the family quite a bit. I would watch him in agony sometimes, he couldn't sleep and he would just curl up in the couch in, in a fetal kind of position. This whole experience has, has changed every moment of your life. One of the um, barriers with chronic mental illness is access to supportive services, actually getting to their clinic appointments, taking medications. When those things don't take place, you end up with individuals with um, substance abuse, with homelessness. So how our best works and how their engagement works is their client is identified by the HOPE team during our outreach efforts. Uh, we find somebody who is having some issues, behavioral health issues, mental health issues. We contact the RBEST team and one of the team members will actually ride out with us in the field and engage that person right there, whether it be on the side of a business, in their tent, in a field, somewhere where they can actually do a one-on-one -on -one evaluation. We can take that person and get them the help that they need. We're no longer receiving calls for service. So having our best there, it it, um, it really does, it prevents emergencies in my, in my opinion. Those individuals that are homeless and mentally ill are usually some of the tougher to get linked to mental health services. So we'll go out and use the LEAP model with those individuals and just befriend them. Through that relationship we can encourage them to consider mental health treatment. It's giving them some support, being there for them, helping them navigate the process, navigate through the system. I've gotten them into services where they haven't utilized hospital services in over a year. This is a song I wrote. Actually it's um, it's about the problem that I had with my brother. The county was was pivotal pivotal before and and and, and ongoing, a crucial role to getting us in the right direction. I had people who understood what was going on, knew you know what I was going through, and cared. I'm very grateful for this program. I think this is a life-saving program. Um, it saved my life. I've heard people say, I wouldn't have done this if it weren't for you guys. I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. And some really good success stories where people who didn't even want to talk to us before were actually engaged by our best, got into the system, and they got them to a what you almost call a manageable point to where they can make good decisions. It's been, it's been so advantageous. These people that are experiencing behavioral health issues, there's so much stigma around it, so sometimes people want to push that experience away instead of saying, you know what we have in common, this health condition that our family members share or that maybe we share together, and that's empowering. And then having those feelings of being helpless and even moments of feeling hopeless, but knowing that there's help out there, knowing that recovery does happen, knowing that you can have support for yourself and for your loved ones is priceless. Really appreciate the assistance that um, your group has provided for us because it's been, uh, otherwise we wouldn't have known. I don't know where we would have been now without that bridge to find those things out and really tailor services to their needs. We're going to end up in a situation where we have a bunch of statistics and we have a bunch of family members who just step away. The 
always my our best is needed.